Welcome to the party that never ends. I've been in audiences all over the world in theaters, and I've experienced the, um, the atmosphere and the involvement of, of the audience during Mamma Mia performances. And especially at the end when everyone is standing up and, and dancing and singing. I thought that kind of atmosphere maybe we could recreate that somewhere else. Because first there was the stage musical, and then the movie, and we had created some kind of Mamma Mia world. And I thought maybe we can transform that Mamma Mia world and put it, recreate it in another place, in a restaurant. And why not a Greek taverna? That would be the obvious choice. In, in Stockholm, there, there is a, an amusement park called Gröna Lund. And in that park is a, an old restaurant, um, a kind of Austrian Bierstube. Um, and it's been there forever. But now Gröna Lund has decided to rebuild it completely and make it into Nikos Taverna. Nikos Taverna in Skopelos. Skopelos is a Greek island where we, one of the islands where we uh, filmed uh, Mamma Mia! the movie. And so uh, we're taking Nikos Taverna from Skopelos and putting it right smack in the middle of Stockholm in Gröna Lund. People are going to have so much fun. The minute they come through those doors of, of Nikos Taverna, they'll be transported magically to Greece. Uh, smells, the warmth. There, there will be, when they come in, there will be a square with a fountain and an olive tree and a taverna. And there will be happy people, you know, welcoming them, Nikos and his wife and all the other people. And they will um, eat really, really good food, and they will drink good wine, and they will sing, they will dance, they will be entertained, they will be part of whatever happens in that restaurant over one evening. And that's Mamma Mia! the party. Uh, and I absolutely love being involved in this and, and doing it. It's great. If my vision of, of, of this Mamma Mia! the party comes true, becomes reality. Um, it is my next wish to take it, you know, elsewhere in the world. Because there's no reason why people wouldn't be as happy and as uplifted um, in, in New York and London as, as they are in Stockholm, hopefully.